Hey everyone, in this video we are checking out Half-Life 2 RTX demo on the RX 9070, the AMD card that just came out recently. And I know this is designed for RTX cards, but we just wanted to take a peek at it and uh, and see what it looks like. So we'll, f we'll check out uh, Chapter 1 real quick here first. Now the settings we're using, as you can see this looks like hot garbage. Settings we're using, 1440p, advanced settings is just gamma correction, field of view. In the RTX replay console, right now the scaler, scaler ah, upscaler we're using is NIS, and it's on balance. We're going to start with, uh, I'll leave it on balance. We'll start with the rendering on low, just to give you an idea. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, all this noise. It disappears kind of quick back in the background there. It's it's horrible. We're getting 33 frames per second with it on low. And it does not look good at all. Get rid of this thing real quick. All right, so 35 frames per second with it on low. Change that preset and let's just go straight to ultra. And it pretty, it dropped it by 10 frames. It looks just, just awful. 19 frames per second. Bad, bad, bad. Now you can play with the developer settings. We've turned off motion blur. You can't play with the developer settings on the left. Um, I've played with a bunch of them and it doesn't make anything any better for me. But again, this is all for the RTX card. It really wants to run DLSS, but there there is none available. All right, let's try high. Oh, wow. So high settings, not looking good at all. I'm stuck in some sort of... No, oh, okay, we're good now. And if we change the render upscaler, we have another option, TAA. Save that. It doesn't look as bad. There's not as much noise. It's a little blurrier, though. 21 frames per second. Yeah. All right. Let's try the other uh, chapter here. Maybe it's better. Okay, 32 frames per second. It doesn't look that bad, either. So we're on TAA, balanced, and high rendering preset. Now I did try to go into the AMD app and enable fluid motion frames and super sampling, but this just crashed every single time I did that. So yeah, this is uh, Half-Life 2 RTX on an AMD card. About as good as it's going to get. Up in the corner here you can see we're maxing out the GPU usage. CPU is just chug like 21%, not even doing any work. Core clock on the GPU is 3.1 gigahertz, so and it's using 12 gigs of VRAM for this. 12 gigs.
So, this is us just running through quickly. Half-Life 2 RTX demo. And I'm sure if you have an RTX card, this is going to look way better. It does not look good at all. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching, people. Um, this just came out if you want to try it for yourself. It's on Steam. It's free. I just wanted to run through it and see if we got uh, any performance at all at this. But we didn't. 28 frames per second. Let's throw it on low one more time and see how high we can get this to go now. Throw this on low. Save. Put this on performance save all right now we're getting 47 frames per second let's try it on the other map all right 55 frames per second it's blurry what is this grass doing yeah that is it looks awful. I, I know it probably looks better. I don't know with YouTube compression, but this looks awful. <laughs> really bad, really bad. Still fun, though. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I love you people.